Yes, in fact, if you look at the fundamental basic research on molecular virology and the ability, uh, which really comes from NIH itself and NIH-funded investigators, to be able to <clears throat> identify a pathogen and sequence it extraordinarily rapidly to allow us to do the things that I'll mention in a moment. But this goes back to fundamental basic research on molecular biology, virology, genetics, et cetera. Remember, the first coronavirus that caused the problem globally was the SARS virus in 2002, which were 8,000 people and 775 deaths for a death rate of about 9 to 10 percent. Several years later, we had the MERS coronavirus, again causing a problem in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Now we have the third coronavirus. One of the things that we've been able to do, and the NIH, as you know, does many things, and we're studying very intensively the fundamental virology and pathogenesis of the disease, but the things that we're doing right now in the form of interventions are in the arena of vaccines and in therapeutics. Uh, it's really extraordinary that from the first time the sequence was made public um, by the Chinese when they discovered what virus it was, literally within days we took that sequence off the database and inserted it into one of our vaccine platforms called the messenger RNA in the Vaccine Research Center at the NIH. And then what we did was do a stepwise uh, approach, which is to first determine, is it immunogenic? Can you stick it in an animal and would it make an immune response? The answer is yes. We, I predicted that we would be about two to three months to go into phase one trials. And I think we're going to beat that. I think we'll be in in probably about six weeks, which as a matter of fact will be the fastest that anyone ever has gone from the identification of a sequence into a phase one trial of any vaccine that's ever been done. That's the good news. The sobering news is that since vaccines are given to normal individuals, what is paramount is safety and whether or not it works. So we'll do a phase one trial. We'll do it in a number of our centers, including our center at the NIH. That will take about three to four months. And then if successful, which I believe it will be, there's no reason to believe it won't be safe, we'll go into what's called a phase two trial. The phase one trial is 45 individuals. Phase two trials are hundreds, if not a couple of thousand individuals. It would take then about a year to a year and a half to be fully confident that we would have a vaccine that would be able to protect the American people. And so although the good news is we did it fast, the bad news is that the reality of vaccinology means this is not going to be something we're going to have tomorrow.